Hi, I'm Karina. Welcome to my channel, Stitches Costa Rica. This is floss tube number two. Today is April 18th, Saturday night already. I wanted to make the video early morning, but it was impossible. It was fixing the roof because it's raining a lot and we need some fixing. But right now, then we have a nice background of rain. Um, for this video then let's see for the new subscribers thank you for coming back and for everybody that comes for the first time to the channel this is a channel of mostly cross stitch and if you like please subscribe and give me a thumbs up okay the wig was okay it was busy it has been raining a lot and I don't think I have I had too many new things except that I went to pick up my new glasses. See, actually I I uh, choose something very very different, which about you know it's not my regular um, style, but I like it. New glasses for stitching. Also, um, besides that, not too much. Now, what I was been doing, remember I said I will finish Aurora Cabin? Well, I didn't touch it, not a bit. For, for this, to finish Aurora Cabin, I need a special setup moment and I didn't have it. Then, hopefully this week. Besides Aurora Cabin, which I finished, is my because remember, I was delayed on my schedule. Uh, my um, Christmas decoration for March. I finished the uh, cozy Christmas and all the backstitch that was depending. And I started the one for April, which will be in yellow. And remember that even the pattern, which I don't know what I placed here. The pattern has the four one in green. I'm not doing green. I'm doing yellows and gold uh, colors. Okay, golden and yellow colors. I'm really happy. And this one, the April one, I will finish in April. Okay. Now, also, I have been working on a whip. That is a special one. It will be a gift for my niece it's the only niece all the rest are nephews <laughs> then this is cozy girl look at how cute it is okay this is the summer one i start by the summer one and i am working in the uh spring one it would be a piece for the wall okay and this is a chinese uh pattern that i bought in aliexpress my sister-in-law choose the design this is the one you see it's the same girl with uh the same girl for each a uh, season okay now i have to clarify i buy in aliexpress which is a chinese page and there is another one another uh, another uh chinese pages and i check the designs because i don't like to buy reproductions and uh, reproductions are less expensive but they won't be never ever the same of the original and also i like to design i like to color i like to create and you know buy reproductions is not my thing but i don't judge if somebody do it okay uh which i do normally when i i'm going to buy a design PDF or kids, mostly kids, in a Chinese page is that I check around to see that it's not a reproduction. Now, obviously, some things I can see right away they are a reproduction, like a Dimensions or a Miravilia or Heaven and Earth, because the the eye, little by little, you know, can discriminate uh, where they're coming from. But for example, this one didn't find in any place. I think it's cute. It has good price for the kid and it's becoming so nice okay and it's 
actually this one is really quick to stitch um and i'm thinking if it's looking nice now because it, you know it's very if you see it is the lines are very clear and i didn't put any back stitch yet then i'm thinking that with the back stitch it will it will look really 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 nice also what else i was doing oh okay the past video i asked which of these two you would like to see me stitch for april because i wanted to start an april and it's funny because <laughs> my friends are used to you know talk to me um my instagram letting me messages saying um, uh, what's up and they were looking the video and then they were <laughs> they were dropping a message in whatsapp saying which they want me to stitch okay funny they will get used to comment later on then i have to say that this is the winner the butterfly then i start the butterfly and this i think will be stitched quick hopefully i will finish this same week this is the butterfly have a no, the center, all the big body of the butterfly. But see, if you see, it's fine. It goes quick because this one was, was done in one day. Then I'm pretty sure, almost pretty sure I will finish this week. Um, okay, but I have to say that my mom didn't bought the butterfly she bought it for puppy pear then which you know what i will do i am planning to do may mania this year then this will be the first project of may mania now when i have 12 years cross stitching but i didn't discover uh floss tube until early past year then i was late for may mania really and obviously I won't start one project a day because for me it's impossible, but I plan to start one project per week in May, okay? Then this would be my first May Mania project in order to make my mother happy, okay? Next week I will show you the other uh, decisions because i'm still making decisions about what to start for may i have too many projects the project the problem is i have so many big projects then i don't know <laughs> i have many kids and i have uh, also some patterns that i have the floss but i have to check if i have enough fabric for them then next week i will let you know why which will be the other projects for may many now i am doing something that i wanted to share with you um on 2012 i stitch this dimensions kit when i bought it i didn't realize it's a known count project and it's, his, its name is Pansy Fusion. No, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Pansy Profusion. Okay. Uh, and I check and I think it's no longer in print. It's, it's no longer in market. Maybe in the secondary market. Uh, I don't know. Right now, I discovered I don't like to do non count. I know they're faster. But it's not my style. See, I like. First of all, count in stitching is very good for your brain. Second, I like the plain blank uh, camba, which, and I like to see how the, um, you know, the design is growing and it's, it's developing. You cannot do that on a count one. And there is a third thing. This one in a specific was not too bad because it has the this the design was like lightly lightly printed on the camera then it was fine fine it was fine but recently i had been looking on uh other uh youtube channels people that is buying uh 
non-counted ones and of course for them if they like it is fine but the colors are so vivid that makes me crazy because if i am stitching here and this part is not stitched yet and i see color my brain will think it's stitched already you know it's miss mess me up okay and another thing is i'm a color person then for example you know in a forest maybe you will have six eight different green colors and then when they stamp on the canvas they they don't put everything in green that maybe they put one green in green another green in yellow another green in orange that makes me crazy because i'll be looking an orange and and stitching with a green it doesn't match for me then no way when I, this is the original project and don't get crazy, don't get worried that how it looks, I will let you know. Uh, this is, I made this as a gift, okay? And I request uh, it back to clean a little bit because if you see it's, well, you cannot see, maybe if you see the difference between the border and the rest, it's really dusty. Then I took it to the original framers that framed my uh, project and they took it out of the frame for me to wash it now i have been uh, checking tutorials about how to watch and comments and everything and i think it will be fine with this one because this is not a this is not a hand dye uh, fabric it's a regular fabric from uh, from the kit then i don't think it would be a problem but uh, i will wet this a little bit around the project in order to take this um residual paper because i don't want i don't know if this paper will make stains on the project then i will take it out and then after that i will wash it out i will let you know next week how the project end on this cleaning and you know and uh the framers they told me okay take it out i will you know we will take it out for you you'll wash it and you give it to us back and we put it and actually the frame which is i like it the original frame it didn't suffer a lot we no basically nothing then it suffered on the back and they fixed the back that the front is perfect then we will use the same frame and i will get back my gift already cleaned okay uh this is what i have for today it's a short video um i hope everybody have a wonderful week um stay safe god bless you guys and we'll see you next week bye bye